when I was young, my mom used to always get on my case about doing my chores, do the dishes and vacuum. God, I, I've always hated chores. Uh, my mind is just needs more stimulation than the mon- like. I just hate mundane work. I hate it. I mean, I think everybody does, right? But like, I just refuse. Like, I just, I just can't. Just won't. Um, I've always hated my chores. And it, how does this apply to competition? Well, you have to do your chores. There's chores to do in, in competition. Little mundane tasks that you kind of don't want to do. And, you know, to get to the top, got to do your chores. And this is one of the big reasons I didn't make it as far as I could have. As I get older, I start to identify my shortcomings as a person, identify my mistakes better, have a better perception of myself. Recognize mistakes is something I've was a weakness of mine that I think I've turned into a strength, and I think I'm I can proudly say that you know I I can admit my mistakes better than most, and and I think this really can empower me as a teacher and a coach. This fact that I I can recognize my mistakes because you learn more way more. I think I in my opinion you learn way more from failures than you do from successes. Because in my opinion, being a a supreme competitor is about plugging leaks. And how can you plug a leak if you can't find it? Well, I've found my leaks. I may not have been able to plug them, but at least I've found them and I can pass on to you. Maybe you can plug yours. I didn't have the the discipline or the the diligence or however you want to put it to to plug those leaks. But maybe you do, but maybe you just can't find them. So here I am to to share with you what some of those leaks might be and it's up to you to plug them. I I cannot help you there. But I can help you identify them. And these chores might be a big leak in your game. So let's start with an example of a chore in an, a first-person shooter game. Now, if, if you're not a video game player, like it doesn't matter. Like These examples, they can apply to anything. You just need to extrapolate. Um, so let's say you're playing PUBG or Apex or Hunt Showdown, anything like that where you have a team that when they get downed, you can pick them up, right? My specific example, I was playing Hunt Showdown, and my teammate got killed, but you can revive him, right? And I wanted to go over to revive him, but the guy was that killed him was still alive. Well, I was pretty sure the guy left, because I heard gunshots just to, like, down the road a bit maybe he was seemed like he might have been fighting somebody else now and it could have been safe to revive my teammate well here's a chore that nobody ever does or that a lot of people don't and this is why they get killed five percent of the time or ten percent of the time something or like that i just i'm whatever arbitrary number right is that when they did just go okay it's probably safe to res come pick me up you know their teammate says that But they don't do their chores first. You got to do your chores. The chore in this instance being sweep the area a bit. Sweeping is a chore, right? So go sweep the area a bit. Make sure that there's no little rat, uh, you know, kind of camping the body in some funny place or just listening for your footsteps and then pops out. Kind of circle the body. Make a quick sweep. Just a quick one. Make sure it's safe before you stand still for four seconds and revive someone. This is a chore that a lot of people, 
I think deep down you know you should do this. But but you're not doing it. Why? I mean, I am very guilty of this as well. Okay, so now we've found the leak. We've found the leak in our boat and water is coming in. And this is one of the reasons why we're not as good as we could be. And this is something like, it's both easy to fix and hard to fix. It's, it's so simple. Like, I mean, do you know how to uh, make a circle with your mouse? Like, do you know how to walk with your mouse? That's all you have to do is just clear the area. We all know how to do it, so why don't we do it? It's as simple as sweeping the floor. We all know how to sweep the floor, but we don't do it. And believe it or not, this is one of the reasons why we're not as good as we could be. I mean, yeah, that guy's aim might be better than yours. But is he sweeping in this situation? Maybe not. Maybe maybe he's maybe he's a really good aim, you know, really good at with the mouse. Well, this is your chance to get an edge against that guy. If he's not doing those things and you are, you're printing you're printing equity. Now, there's another concept I talk about micro edges. This is more than a micro edge. Like this is this is has more significance than a micro edge. This is this is decent. This is a chunk. This is a chunky one. So do your chores and sweep. Sweep sweep before you res your teammate, okay? Now the next chore you have. It's on your to-do list. That the note that was left by your mom on the fridge that says chores. Well, the next one says, cover while crossing. So, let's say there is a big open field you need to cross. And you have to cross this to get to your objective. And you, it sucks to be in the open, right? It sucks. Like, you're just out in the open, and if someone shoots at you, you have nothing to hide behind. You just have to rely on your aim that you hit them and save your life. Meanwhile, they can they can just take cover behind a tree if they get hit or they can shoot and then take cover, shoot and then take cover. This is obvious, okay, this is obvious. I'm sure all of you know this. It sucks. Well, you need to have your teammate cover you while you cross. So your teammates stay in cover, you cross, and if there's somebody on the other side of that cover shooting at, at you while you cross your teammates can hit them but nobody ever does this they all just say eh, let's just yolo <laughs> they just fucking run across you know let's just run across together nope nope you got to do your chores man do it the right way i mean this is pretty straightforward i i, I hope you followed the example again there's a big open area. You need to cross it. Have your teammates cover you while you cross. You get to the other side safely. Now you cover the next guy while he crosses. The next guy while he crosses. So on and so forth. I mean, not everybody is a crack shot. You, you, if you're just relying on having a good aim, you're basically never going to make it. Someone's always going to be better than you. It's just like you're leaving you're leaving so much potential to be great. You could be great, but instead you're just good. Because you've and you know a lot of this comes from just bad habits. Uh, let me tell you, bad habits are one of the biggest reasons I I've have not progressed as a player. And it's because I've relied on superior aim for so long. Like, I'm old. I've been playing FPS since they first came out. And when they first came out, nobody was good. I could just ru rush around a corner and shoot someone in the head. And not worry about it. Because my aim was just so much better than everybody else's. So I never learned these little tactics like, and, like jiggle peeking and stuff like that. Like... I've just never had to learn it. 
So now everybody's so good that I don't do those things. They do. Their aim is good. My aim is good. They're crushing me. And it's, and it's because of these bad habits. Like, if you don't know what jiggle peeking is, that's where you, you, you want to come around a corner, right? But you're not sure if there's anybody around there. You just peek real quick and then go back behind the cover. And you peek again and you go back behind the cover. You're just trying to get a view of the landscape, see if there's anybody there. Um, that's basically, that's all jiggle peeking is. And it can be done, like, rapidly and frequently. You probably have seen it, streamers do it before. Um, you probably, most of you probably know about it. And this is something that, like I said, it, it's a bad habit that it's a chore. I guess that's next on your mom's chore list is jiggle peek. <laughs> Son, make sure you jiggle peek. <laughs> jiggle, jiggle peek before you flush it. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and it's a chore. It's a chore. And, and I've made a bad ha I hate my chores. So again, I may not be the best at doing these things, but I I can identify these leaks and help you identify them in your own game. And it's up to you to plug them. So on mom's chore list, we have, you know, sweep the area. You have cover while crossing. Jiggle peek before you flush. <laughs> uh, don't rely on your aim so much. You know, that's not really on the list, but just... Don't rely on your aim so much. Um, a great example I have of not relying on your aim, it's in basketball. Like, not everybody can be Steph Curry. And some of these guys have made millions of dollars. Like, I don't know about you, but for years, I just always work on my shot, always work on my shot, always work, and just never got very good at shooting the basketball. No matter, I mean, I've worked really hard at it and just couldn't, Maybe shooting is just not my thing. And I, you think about it. There's guys that have made millions of dollars off focusing on other things. Like, hey, I'm going to get really good at this, at X, Y, Z, you know, at something else. Even though shooting is the most quintessential skill in basketball and in FPS games, hey, maybe I'm going to get really good at utilizing my teammates, understanding where they're at, how to utilize their positions, et cetera, et cetera. And I think this is one of the most underlooked at, undervalued aspects of, of competition in general. Like, hey, there's four other people on the floor in basketball besides myself. How can I use their position, their strengths, their weaknesses, the way he's cutting this direction with this angle? Like, if I set a screen here and spin off like that, but a lot of people are just thinking about shooting. How can I put the ball in the basket? Well, here's a way to get an edge. And the same goes for FPS games. Like, you know, games like anything that has teammates, basically. Like, how can I utilize their position to win? So it doesn't have to be me getting the kill. Like, how can I get my opponent? How can I get my teammate a kill? And, and me being not the best shot this is something that i'm starting to focus more on and i wish i would have thought about this i mean dude well, i'm almost 40 and i barely thought about this and it's like a maturity thing that enables you to think about this so i mean this is why it's so important to mature uh in competition but that is not something i can force upon you but if you can utilize your teammates strengths positioning like for example i'll i've been playing a lot lately and my teammate's really good but he's really cautious i'm like okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna bait them into his like sneaky position and like that's a big focus of my is getting him kills and I think not many people are thinking like that. They're like, how can I get a kill? Right? That's so such a normal thing to think. How can I get a kill? How can I kill this guy? Or in basketball, how can I put the ball in the hoop? What if you just focused on maximizing expected value for the team? 
and I feel like, for example, the Warriors in basketball, they've they've figured that out and they've that that's clicked. That's fucking clicked for them. Like, oh, we can just do that and win a lot of games. And I don't think it's like a selfish reason people are thinking, like, how can I score? They're not selfishly doing that. They're just it's just natural. It's just natural. Okay. The next chore on our chore list is spacing. And in this example, I'm, I'm, again, specifically referring to FPS games. So in this example, spacing, you've got to do your spacing chores. Now, I don't want to get into a whole lecture about spacing. If you don't know what that is, I'm sure I'll post a video about it on, at some point, but basically you just need to be spaced apart to cover different angles, right? I'm sure most of you kind of know what I'm talking about, but this is a chore that a lot of people don't do. Um, and there's many reasons why they don't do it, but I think it's mostly just a chore. And a lot of it has to do with sloppiness as well. And you got to be coordinated with your teammates. This is where I was talking about like, hey, focus on your teammates, where your teammates are at more and how can you utilize them? And as soon as you think about that, you're going to realize, oh, shit, our spacing sucks. Let me wait for this guy. This is a big the, one of the biggest ones. Like I'm way ahead of him. Let me slow down and let him catch up. Because right now my teammate is completely useless to me if I come up on somebody. So that's probably one of the biggest examples I can think of offhand is, is your teammate is lagging behind or you're lagging behind and you're like, your teammate needs to wait for you. Because you guys need to sweep the forest. I'm just using forest as an example, but you guys need to sweep the forest together. Not I go in first and then he goes in. No, think about the Vietnam movies. You see one guy. And then you see another guy about 20 feet away. And then you see another guy. You don't want to be too close where a grenade can wipe you all out. Or where you cannot cover multiple angles. You know, you don't want to be so far that where someone slips through your... You just have to... I mean, there's this is, again, this is a whole lecture about spacing. I'm not going to get into it. I'll try not to get into it. But the point is, have the discipline to maintain the proper spacing that you know you should be doing. Do your chores, wait for your teammate to catch up, have some patience, have some discipline. A lot of this boils down to just fucking being patient. Be patient, you son of a bitch. I mean, the other day, that, I mean, that's what ambushing is. This should be, on. I'm adding this to the list just now. Like, just simply being patient and sitting and doing nothing is a chore. Chores are mundane. This is the most mundane chore of them all. Sit and wait. I mean, I'm adding this to the, the chore list. Mom's ch chore list. Sit and wait. Without going too much on a lecture about ambushes and tactics like that, I mean, an ambush, you have to sit and wait. And if you've determined that the ambush is the optimal strategy here, like, you know they have to come here. And there's a big opening they have to cross. And there's some perfect cover right here to hide in. Have the discipline to do your chores and sit and wait. And why don't people do this? Like we, we know in our heart, it's the optimal strategy, right? But when we play a game and this is, this is a fucking pearl of wisdom right here guys when we play a game we have multiple motivations for playing that game we have multiple goals listen carefully one of our goal is to win right you agree with that yes everyone can agree with that the second goal is to have fun and you can agree with that too the problem is these two goals, they conflict with each other because sometimes winning and having fun 
uh, are two different things. You know, I mean, like sitting and waiting, it, that falls in the winning category, but it doesn't fall in the having fun category. So do your chores. Chores are not fun, but chores are winning. Now it's up to you. I, I can I can show you where the leaks are. It's up to you to plug them. And what do you want? Do you want to win or do you want to have fun? Now next on the list for mom's chore list is don't peek the same spot twice. This is this is like a most of you probably know this. Most of you intuitively know this or have heard it somewhere. And you know the reasons why you don't peek the same spot twice. You know, you don't fire from the same position. This is like a, a key rule of like marine training and shit. But it definitely applies to FPSs too. You know, once you give away your position, you got to re re relocate. Because a sniper might be trained on that spot where you just fired from they saw the muzzle flash they heard it now they're trained on that spot they're waiting for you to peek again so they can take your fucking head off we all know this but we've all done it many times have the discipline and the patience to do your chores and relocate do your chores and relocate. Don't peek the same. Don't peek the same spot twice. I don't think I need to beat a dead horse on that one, but you're gonna get a slap on the wrist if you if you do that. Uh, the next thing is, I don't know if this is this is kind of a falls in the category of chores, but it's definitely a tip I want to share with you. And this is on the list. It says jumping while running. Now, I've seen pro players, they jump a lot. Why are they jumping? I'm like, oh, they're, they're trying to make their head like harder to hit, less headshots, right? They're harder to target to hit. Sure, that, that's one reason. But here's another reason why you may not have thought about, and it's when you're jumping and when you're in midair, your footsteps are not making, you're not making any audio footsteps. So it's quiet for a split second. Well, you're in midair. It's quiet for a, mid, a split second. Well, what if you jump and it's not quiet and you still hear footsteps? Oh, someone's coming. We hear some rustling in the bushes. That's unnatural. Oh, someone's over there. I heard them while I was jumping. So this is another reason why. Also, you're silent. In most games, you're silent when you're in midair, right? Oh, I heard them. They didn't hear me. Maybe they heard me land. Maybe they didn't. Maybe their own sound of their own footsteps cluttered your landing of the jump. That's more of just a, a, a tool in your bag of tricks for FPSs. Um, I think our chores are done for today. I hope you learned something. And... Um, Good luck, guys. Bye.